So can you talk to me a little bit more about like what you were experiencing that made you realize that you actually need to get more help and get counseling? Probably the most striking thing is, was anger. Mm -hmm. the most striking emotion. I mean, the sense is I was violated. I was violated. That's the word that I use to describe what happened to me. I had someone testify against me who lied, who out and out lied, and people didn't care about that. Mm -hmm. And I firmly believe in the truth, and I believe in facts and evidence and so forth. And you can't just make your argument based on what you want the results to be and ignore the facts. So that was that was horrible for me. I had such anger in the first case that I was sued for something so ridiculous. How can you sue me for failure to diagnose a brain tumor outside my specialty? And one of the things I preach to other physicians is when you get sued, you have to recognize this is not about you as a physician. This is not about your skills. This is not about your sense of self-worth. This is a business proposition. After having gone through these experiences and you know gotten sued, because three times, how did that affect your practice? And how long did you continue to work as a rheumatologist? You mentioned a couple things already in terms of you stopped seeing, you stopped prescribing narcotic medications, um, but how? Uh, what are other ways that it affected you in your practice? Well, the first thing that happens is you become very suspicious of patients. You wor start worrying, is this patient gonna sue me? What if they have an adverse reaction to this medicine I'm prescribing? I know it's the right medicine, but what if they have an adverse reaction? I can't guarantee they're not going to. So all of a sudden, people that you are sworn to help, you wonder if they're your adversaries. Mm. So it creates hostility. The, there was one patient in particular who comes to mind who came to see me a short time after this autoimmune sensory neural hearing loss case settled and she came to see me and said my doctor referred me to you i have autoimmune sensory neural hearing loss and he wants to talk about immunosuppressive agents for it i said i can't take care of you just based on that diagnosis i could not emotionally care for that patient after what i had experienced and i told her right up front she was not happy with me i was honest with her i told her what had happened and i referred her to one of my partners and I'm not alone in that regard. There was a study of 220 uh, physicians in Cook County, Illinois, who got sued. Um, and half of them stopped doing certain practices after they got sued, whether it be uh, a GYN doctor who no longer delivered babies, for example, or they didn't do certain kinds of surgery. Half of them stopped, changed their practice or stopped seeing certain kinds of patients. 10% of them contemplated suicide. And these were all lawsuits that these physicians won. Oh, wow. After these winning it, they still they contemplated suicide. These are lawsuits that they won. And I know of one physician who was named in a lawsuit who actually did commit suicide. Wow. So it can be devastating to the psyche. And that's why it's so important that this be talked about and that people understand that others have gone through it, have survived, have flourished despite this with the idea that maybe they can too. And hearing someone else's story may be helpful to those who are going through this. For us, by us, and just for us, this is hope for men, men.